The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Tro, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. As you recall, Billy and Jane Darrow had regained control of the Planeteer from the space pirates, Blackie and Slick, and have returned to the asteroid belt to search for the one Planet Man and Pat have been marooned on. Meanwhile, unknown to them... Pat and Danto have been picked up by Rocks, a prospector who had no communicator and refused to listen to their pleas to take them to a League Patrol station. Finally, they agree to help him in his search for a uranium-loaded asteroid in the hope that if he finds it, he will then help them reach the League Patrol to save Billy and Jane. Billy and Jane are continuing their hopeless search for the one out of thousands of asteroids where they left Pat and Danto. Maybe if we let the planeteer drift in space and take the space launch, I could get a little closer to the asteroids. The planeteer is so big, and I'm afraid to go in too close. I can handle it, but not that well. This is a lot bigger than that scout Captain All-Star taught me to fly. But we would still be looking for one out of thousand. Okay, okay. Do you have a better idea? No. Wait a minute, Billy. Yes, I think I have an idea, you may not think it's a very good one. All right, what is it? Well, I was thinking, Slick probably could find it. He found it easily enough before. Slick, haven't we got trouble enough without letting those pirates take over? Maybe we could make a bargain with them. Bargain with them? You can't bargain with bloodthirsty crooks like that. Who said anything about trusting them, Bill? Well, what else can we do? Suppose we just let Slick out and, and keep Blackie locked in the cabin under the anesthetic gas. You took their blasters away from them. One of us could always watch him. Yeah, but you don't think he would take us to Dantro and Pat. If he ever did, his goose would be cooked for sure and he'd know it. But, but suppose we promise to let him and Blackie go. How can we promise him that? Well, we could tell him that, that we'd make Planet Man listen to them. I'm sure he would if we promised him that. Do you think Slick would believe us if we said it? Well, he hasn't got much choice. This way he knows that sooner or later we'll probably run into the League Patrol and it'll be the end of them both. Especially after what they've done to Pat and Dantro. But what do you think? Well, I don't like it, but it's like you say, we don't have much choice. The rate we're going, it might take weeks before we find the right asteroid. And if we don't find it within a few hours, it will be just the same as never finding it. Well, let's go get Slick. I'll help you. Let me break the ship and bring it to a stop. Come on, let's go. Here, let me help you off with that spacesuit, suit, Dantro. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. Not very appreciative of you, young lady. How about helping me? I've saved your life. You saved my life, all right, but you're throwing away the lives of two children. I'll never help you. Awful bitter, ain't you? Leave her alone, Rock. She's got a right to be bitter. What happened? Did you have any luck? Is there any uranium on this asteroid? No, Pat. No signs of it at all. Well, how long can we keep this up? This is the fifth asteroid we've tried, and we're getting nowhere. How about it, Rocks? Don't you think we've done enough? I'll tell you when, Planet Man. If I can wander around these asteroids for 25 years, you can look at a few more. Oh, I hate you. You're worse than those space pirates. If everybody from Earth is as ungrateful as you are, it must be a pretty nasty place to live. Let's blast off. There he is, Billy. You take his shoulders, I'll take his feet. Okay, got him. Uh Okay, let's go. Okay, put him down here. All right. 
You better shut that port and lock it. We don't want Blackie to wake up. Right. Can't we do something to make him come to quickly? It'll only take a second. The minute you hit the air, you come to. That's what happened to you. Blackie. Blackie, wake up. Don't go to sleep, Blackie. What's going on? Where am I? You... You kids, you... Why All right, I'm, Slick, I'm, don't try yeah. anything. I know how to work this blaster, and I'd love to use it. And I've got another one. What's going on? What'd you do to us? How, how did you put us to sleep? Never mind. We'll ask the questions. Well, where were you? How, how did you get out of that cabin before? You heard what Billy said. We'll ask the questions. Get up. Okay. What's that blaster? Those things are awful tricky. You don't want any accidents to happen. Do what I tell you. I'm doing it. Come on up forward in the control cabin. Well, where are we? You'll find out in a minute. Now, come on. Get moving. All right. Stand over there. You watch him, Jane. I want to check the control. Now, look here. You kids have the wrong idea. I wasn't going to let Blackie hurt you. I figured that after we were out of the league territory, I'd turn you loose somewhere, like I said. I can imagine Turn us loose so we could go back and tell the League Patrol who killed Dan Tru and Pat and kidnapped uh, us. Now, look, you got me all wrong. Uh, Controls are okay, Jane. All right, I'll watch them. Now, look, look. You look like a smart kid. She won't listen to me. I heard what you told her. It won't do any good to talk to me. I wouldn't believe what you said either. We may be young, but we're not stupid. Besides, we're doing a talking here. All right, all right. Now, what have you got to say? Just this. You're going to help us find Dan Tru and Pat. <laughs> You're kidding haven't I got trouble enough? Why should I help you put my head under the axe? Trying to get Slick to help Billy and Jane is a pretty ticklish operation. Will he help? Or will he try to overcome the kids and proceed with his original plan? We'll be back in a moment, so level up. When we left Billy and Jane aboard the Planeteer, they had revived Slick and were trying to get him to help them find Danto and Pat. In the meantime, Danto and Pat are aboard Rock's ship, trying to help him find a uranium asteroid in the hope that when they do, Rock's will in turn help them find Billy and Jane. A couple of likely looking asteroids up ahead. Oh, no, not again. That makes ten. Don't you ever stop trying? Got nothing else to do, young lady. No place to go, no one to go to. That's the way I like it. You ought to be glad I'm letting you help me we find it, we'll be richer than dreams. You can keep your money, Rock, so we want us to be taken to the League Patrol Station. I told you I'd take you if you helped me. But when? Every time we come near an asteroid, you want to look for uranium. We'll never get there at this rate. Don't be impatient, young lady. I've got lots of time. He has lots of time, and Billy and Jane are in the hands of those two space pirates. Hey, what's that? Hmm? It looks like a beam of some kind. It's a signal. Get away from that port. We won't, and you better not cause any trouble, Rox. Your little game's up. What are you talking about? Oh, Dantro, are you sure? I know a League patrol ship when I see it, Pat. They must have been following us for a while, trying to contact us. Of course, they couldn't. That's why they signaled us with the beam. Do you think they'll come aboard? I'm sure of it. They've been checking strange ships throughout the system because of the raids by the space pirates. They wouldn't stop us if they weren't coming aboard to check. Well, how do you like that, Ross? Ain't nothing I can do about it. Don't like it. Don't dislike it. I don't mind. I told you the only thing I care about was hunting for the asteroid. If they want to waste their time in the interplanetary system stopping every ship they see, it's their business. Just so they don't hold me up too long, don't make no difference to me. Here they come, Dantro. Why don't they hurry? They'll get here, Pat. Maneuvering alongside another ship in space is a pretty tricky business. <laughs> our proposition, Slick. We know that Dantro and Pat are on one of those asteroids. You're the only one that can help us find it. Well, why should I? It only means trouble for me. It'll be worse trouble for you if you don't. We'll just take you back to that cabin and keep you there with Blackie under anesthetic gas. Sooner or later, we'll run into a leak patrol and they'll take care of you. This way, you get a choice. We'll tell Dantro we made a deal with you to set you loose if you'll help us find them. Chances are they're both dead. Probably have been for hours. That's the chance we've got to take. Our promise still goes. We're too late to save them. We'll take you somewhere and let you go. Well, what do you say? We're wasting time. I guess it's a deal. Maybe I'm a sucker like you say. I've got nothing to lose. Let me see your chart. Just where are we? See, those space pirates took off with the ship with Billy and Jane Darrow aboard. We've got to reach League Patrol headquarters and alert every ship at once. 
Take me to the closest station and communicate ahead. Yes, sir. We'll get you there as fast as the ship will go. What about that prospector? Are you going to let him go? That's all we can do, Pat. Well, do you think we'll be able to find the planet here? Who can tell, Pat? But the quicker we send out word of what's happened, the quicker we'll have every patrol ship in the solar system alerted. Come on, let's get back to the communication cabin. <laughs> got to be around here somewhere. Say, that's the asteroid over there. Okay, let's go in. Well, that's a pretty good landing if I say so myself. Never mind the compliments. Jane, do you think you can watch him? Why? One of us has to go looking for Pat and Dantro. I think I'd better go while you stay here. All right, Billy. Don't worry about Slick. I can take care of him. Billy is determined to find Dantro and Pat at all costs. It's a brave move, but it will prove futile, because Dantro and Pat will be nowhere around. Can Jane, in the meantime, hold Slick at bay? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man.